The entrance to Mission San Juan Capistrano states that it was founded on November 1st, 1776, which is true. But did you know that it wasn't founded at this location? The 1776 founding was the second of three attempts to make the mission, and it wasn't until 1778 that its final position was established, which is what you see behind me. So what happened to the original Mission San Juan Capistrano? Why did people leave it? Where is it now, and what does it look like today? Let's find out. The story of the San Juan Mission begins in October of 1775, when Father Fermin Lesuain visited what is now South Orange County to establish a new mission halfway between Mission San Diego and Mission San Gabriel. They situated the mission next to an Hatcheman village, and Father Lesuain consecrated the site on October 30th of 1775. Leswain began construction on the new mission and erected a wooden cross and hung two church bells from a tree. However, Leswain soon received word from San Diego of an uprising there, so the missionaries buried the church bells and left for San Diego. This first iteration of Mission San Juan Cabestrano lasted little more than a week. A year later, missionaries led by Junipero Serra returned to San Juan, unearthed the buried church bells, and reconsecrated the site on November 1, 1776. Little is known about this original church, only that it struggled for two years before it was abandoned and rebuilt at its present location in the middle of San Juan. So where was the original mission? Historian Don Meadows attempted to pinpoint its location in the 1960s using Spanish records housed in Mexico City. The original mission was noted as being three quarters of a league from its current location and a league and a half from the ocean along San Juan Canyon. With a conversion of two and three quarter miles per league, Meadows was able to approximate the location of the original mission and went out to see what was there. So in 1967, uh, Meadows went to the area that's in front of us now, but back then it wasn't just a suburban housing development, it was an orange grove, as was much of Orange County uh, way back when. Uh, but uh, he went and talked to the homeowner uh, and said, hey, I think this is the original location of the San Juan Mission. Uh, and that homeowner, a man named John Lacroix, uh, showed around his property. And in the area that's on the right of the stream, uh, they found many monos and matades and other artifacts that are sort of indicative of a California Indian village. Um, and as we know from the historical records, um, it states that in 1775, this location was chosen because it was so close to an existing village site. They then toured around his home and they found that uh, it was a nice flat area overlooking the valley and it was likely the place where the original mission had been. Um, although because the house had already been existing for decades, it was built in the early 1900s, they couldn't talk to the homeowner and say, hey, when you're putting the foundation, you know, uh, did you find artifacts, things like this. Um, but we're pretty sure that the area in front of us now is uh, where the original San Juan mission was located. So one of the main reasons that uh, the original mission site was abandoned in uh, around 1778 was issues over access to water. And here is San Juan Creek today. Uh, and you can see it's, it's, it's got a, a fair amount of water in it right now. Uh, but bear in mind that this is the year 2020, almost soon to be 2021. It's in the winter time, um, so it's running a little bit more than it probably would in the summer. Uh, and additionally, a lot of this, this is probably uh, stuff coming from uh, basically modern surface runoff from, you know, people running their sprinklers and washing their cars, things like that. So in the past, this stream was probably a lot more dry, uh, at least didn't carry nearly as much water as the area that it is today, uh, situated at the confluence of two much larger uh, bodies of water, uh, which has done San Juan well to this day. So you might be wondering, so why haven't I heard of this place? You know, why isn't there an interpretive center or something? And the answer is that we don't have enough uh, evidence here to really build something to say this is for sure the site. We have a pretty good idea from the research of Meadows and others, um, but not enough to really go out and, and um, make a whole hurrah of it. And the reason that is, is because this whole area has basically been destroyed. Any sort of evidence that would have been there to both the mission and the village next to it is now underneath these houses. And we've got a ton of uh, uh, history in California. You know, people say, oh gosh, the US, California in particular, it's such a young place, but we really have thousands of years here. But what sets us apart from other places where it's easier to see that history is that most of our history is underneath 
suburbs. Although you can't visit the original site of Mission San Juan Capistrano, it's worth visiting its second location, which has thankfully been amazingly preserved. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Poopy Archaeology for more videos about the past. Thank <laughs> you.